Ever wondered how a hurricane forms? Let's dive into the genesis of Hurricane Milton. In the vast expanse of the Atlantic, a cluster of thunderstorms began to swirl, marking the humble beginnings of Hurricane Milton. This nascent system, known as a tropical disturbance, was fueled by warm sea surface temperatures, the lifeblood of any hurricane. As the ocean's warmth infused the storm, it grew, its winds spinning faster and faster. But it wasn't just the balmy waters that played a role. Atmospheric conditions, like the absence of wind shear, provided the perfect nurturing environment. Under these favorable conditions, the disturbance began to organize itself, its winds gaining strength, its structure becoming more defined. Soon, it graduated from a tropical disturbance to a tropical storm, earning itself a name, Milton. But Milton was not content being a mere storm. It had its sights set on something bigger. With each passing day, Milton continued to feed on the warm sea waters, growing in size and power. It was like watching a child grow into an adult, but this was no ordinary maturation. This was the birth of a monster. Within days, this seemingly innocuous weather event transformed into a formidable force of nature, Hurricane Milton. Now that we understand how Hurricane Milton was born, let's explore how it morphed into one of the strongest storms ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin. This transformation was no fluke. It was a result of a perfect storm, so to speak, of conditions. A lack of wind shear in the atmosphere allowed Milton to maintain its structure and continue to build strength. At the same time, the presence of ample moisture provided the fuel for the hurricane's engine, enabling it to intensify rapidly. These conditions allowed Milton to reach maximum sustained winds of a staggering 180 miles per hour, setting it apart from many other historic hurricanes. To put that in perspective, this made Hurricane Milton a Category 3 major hurricane on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale, a classification reserved for the most destructive of storms. But it's not just the wind speeds that set Milton apart. The rapid intensification of this storm, the sheer speed at which it grew from a tropical disturbance to a major hurricane, is something that we rarely see. This, combined with its extraordinary strength, is why Hurricane Milton isn't just another storm. It's a record-breaking powerhouse. Hurricane Milton isn't just notable for its strength, it's also memorable for the impact it had on the ground. This tempestuous titan prompted extensive preparations ahead of its arrival. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis declared a state of emergency in 51 counties, a move that underscored the severity of the impending storm. Residents bracing for the worst battened down the hatches, and coastal areas were evacuated in anticipation of the storm surge and potential flooding. Despite these preparations, Hurricane Milton's impact was felt far and wide. Coastal areas bore the brunt of the storm surge and flooding, a chilling reminder of the destructive power of nature. The Tampa Bay region, already vulnerable, was particularly hard hit, with the storm causing significant damage. Yet every hurricane tells its own story, and Milton is no different. When we compare it to other historic hurricanes, Milton stands out for its intensity and the sheer scope of its impact. Take, for instance, Hurricane Andrew in 1992. It was a Category 5 storm, but its damage was primarily localized. Milton, on the other hand, was a Category 3 upon landfall, but its effects were felt over a much larger area. Hurricane Milton left an indelible mark on the regions it touched, forever changing the landscape and lives of those in its path. So, where does Hurricane Milton stand now? Let's delve into its current status. As we speak, Hurricane Milton is still flexing its muscles, with maximum sustained winds reaching an astonishing 180 miles per hour. This makes it one of the strongest storms ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin. It's expected to make landfall in Florida as a Category 3 major hurricane. This has set off a chain of events, prompting evacuations and even closures of major attractions like some parts of the famed Walt Disney World Resort. In response to the impending storm, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has declared a state of emergency in 51 counties. Preparations are in full swing, especially in the vulnerable Tampa Bay region. The storm's potential for a significant storm surge and widespread flooding poses a considerable risk to coastal areas. Meteorologists are keeping a close eye on its trajectory and potential impact. To put this into perspective, the lifespan and trajectory of Hurricane Milton bear a striking resemblance to some of the most historic hurricanes we've witnessed. Like Hurricane Milton, these historic hurricanes rapidly intensified and had a significant impact on land. However, each hurricane is unique, carrying its own set of challenges and dangers. Recovery efforts are ongoing, with everyone working diligently to mitigate the impacts and aid those affected. 
It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of such overwhelming natural forces. Although Hurricane Milton has passed, its legacy continues to reverberate, reminding us of the raw power of nature.